Yeah, in 2002, I lost a friend to HIV AIDS related illness. It was a very sad time. He went in for surgery. The protocol in the hospitals were, um, you know, different and some hospital understood what was needed to be done, others didn't. The people, there was a stigma around it. And there still is a stigma around it. People are deathly afraid of contracting the HIV virus. And he basically died. He had a he spiked, his fe fever spiked and during surgery, he had a fever when he got there. He had a, his appendix, he was about to have a uh, appendicitis. I don't know what the term is, but it was about to burst. He was taken in and he basically died as a result. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because many people in America are living today with HIV. Many people in America are living today with AIDS. And many people in America are living in states where getting married is not possible, still, or wanting to adopt a child they can't, or they can't even open up about their partner in their state because there's no protection. They could get uh, fired if their boss find out that they are gay or lesbian. Being a transgender in America, let's face it, uh, you're like not even a second class citizen, you're like third or fourth class citizen. And then there is you. You're a gay person, you're a gay member of a community, and you go out and you have a fireside chat with Ted Cruz. And then you pretend, and I'm going to use the word pretend, because you're not stupid, to not know who Ted Cruz is. And then you apologize once, and you say you're shaken to your bones. And then you turn around and you say that gay men are cheap and entitled. Do you know how many people are living on welfare and are part of our community? Or how many people are rely, relying on the kindness of strangers to get a meal delivered to their house? Or how many people are going to support group because they're living with an illness? Or maybe because they lost somebody they loved? Or how many people are, have been victim of a attack or have been, you know, in a situation where they nearly got murdered. Do you have a sense of what people go through? Not everybody lives in a penthouse, has gone to Cornell, owns millions of dollars, lives in New York City, has a hotel near Broadway, and has a luxury to invite a Republican who is sponsored by the Core Brothers with the mouth of ultra conservative homophobes, haters who hate gays, lesbian, transgenders. And when you stand next to that guy, you're basically saying, I approve his message. I approve what that guy stands for. You can't do something like that and turn around and say, well, I wasn't thinking, or I didn't know, or I didn't do my homework. It took you a whole day to go figure out who Ted Cruz was? How can I, I would not host an event for somebody I don't know without doing some homework. You could have had a mass serial killer in your hotel. You could have had somebody who sends money to Al-Qaeda. You're not stupid. You knew exactly who Ted Cruz was. And now you're turning around and you're basically blaming us because you think we're not being open-minded enough or that we are being too judgmental because we're not tolor tolerating the fact that we, uh, that you're, you had Ted Cruz over. I want you to think outside your box. I want you to travel and go meet people in your community, the people that you've affected by what you did. Take some of your money and donate it. And next time you want to make a buck, think.